This is the template page before any changes. One of my favorite parts of working as a designer is adopting a user perspective. I love the psychology behind user empathy. Uh, let's give that a shot today. I'm just going to throw on my uh, new SMB glasses here. That's better. Okay. Do any of these templates include a store? What do what Divi and WooCommerce mean? Why are these templates grouped into columns? Is that the kind of responsiveness, responsiveness I can expect on my website too? I've heard that's pretty important. Uh, how long is this setup going to take? I don't have a lot of time. Oh, I just remembered I have a WordPress website. Can I just use that? What am I doing picking a template here? I'm going to switch my glasses back real quick. Oh, that was a ride. So what have we done to address these problems? On top of this, the team, uh, the development team brought forward a stat early in the process that said only 14.5% of SMB users are making it through this process to the setup of their actual site. Wow. Introducing the new templates page. Now as a user, I can immediately understand which templates include e-commerce and can help me achieve that goal. Supporting documentation in the form of links and hover tooltips provide the how behind our e-commerce offering, linking to concise explanation of these features. A stepper component at the top communicates just how easy it is to complete the setup process. Look, in three steps, I'll be launching my new website. A hover state for each card eliminates the overwhelming number of primary CTAs on the page and communicates a level of polish to the product final offering. We've also added an option for users to skip template selection altogether so they can import their own WordPress site if they have one using our all-in-one migration plugin pre-installed. Lastly, we're improving mobile optimization. After selecting a template, we have our site spin up page where we've added a progress bar. Nobody likes to be left wondering how long they'll be waiting and now they don't have to. Um, next, the user will land on our dashboard. This is the dashboard before and we're, we're greeted um, here after the site is finished spinning up. From a partner perspective, its color scheme makes white label a challenge. Putting advanced options like PHP MyAdmin and SFTP front and center is a frequently cited reason why partners are hesitant to give SMBs access to this page. Every component on this dashboard is custom built, making reusing components from elsewhere in our system much less efficient uh, than it could be. Cue the new dashboard. The UI has been updated to keep up in step with our other O&O products. This reduces friction by presenting users with a navigational experience they already know and immediately caches in on the trust established by our other products. It sets the stage for future improvements, as mentioned, as mentioned above, um, with sharing components, and communicates that Website Pro is a modern and competitive choice. There are some other da dashboard updates I'd like to dive into briefly as well. We've moved advanced tools into their own tab in the nav and out of the front and center. In their place, Website Pro will now display all of the relevant versioning information a user needs to ensure their site is up to date at a glance. We haven't left anything behind either. We're not just painting the front of the house here. The update will apply to all of the existing pages within Website Pro, providing a consistent and polished experience from start to finish. We're excited about these updates and hope you are too. 